Hi, it's me, Karen, the Journey Girl, coming to you for today from back of the beyond in Ferry County, Washington. And today we're making homemade egg noodles. Now, you're wondering why are you making egg noodles? That's because because we are all here in this quarantine for the COVID virus, there is not a bag of egg noodles anywhere to be found. I've even tried to order them online and they're not available. So today we're making egg noodles and it's actually a very simple process. I have here two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add to that two teaspoons of salt. I have three egg yolks and I'm gonna make a well in the middle of my flour. I'm gonna dump the egg yolks in and then I have one whole egg. Now really the easiest way to do this, I'm just gonna give this a quick little stir. Oh, over here I also have a half a cup of water. Now, once I get the eggs mixed in, I'm going to start adding water, but I'm only going to add enough until we get a nice soft dough formed. So here we go. Get the hands in there and have at it. Something like a kid playing with Play-Doh. It's fun. <laughs> There we go. So now I'm going to start adding a little bit of water, maybe a tablespoon at a time. Just keep scrunching the, the flour and the eggs. I think this is a fun project. I think it's a fun project that you could even do with your kids or your grandkids. You know, everybody thinks that the only way to have noodles is getting them in a bag in a store. And with such few ingredients. There we go. Oh, I got a nice dough forming here. You see it? Oh, it's great. It's all stuck to my hands. Or I should say hand. Once we get this mixed in as well as possible, I'm going to scrape this off here. Oh, now tell me that doesn't look like fun. I'm going to turn this out onto a, my floured countertop here. This is why I have one clean hand. Now we're going to start kneading this dough. We're going to knead it for about 10 minutes. And for those people who aren't really familiar with the how to knead dough, you take it, you push it away, corner, quarter turn, push it again, quarter turn, push it again. And we're gonna keep doing that for about 10 minutes until I get a nice, soft, smooth ball of dough. So I'll see you in a few. All right, so I have kneaded this, this dough into a nice smooth ball. The next step is going to be I just need to cover it and let it rest for 10 minutes. This will allow the gluten to kind of soften. So we'll be do, do that. When I come back, we will cut this dough into four pieces, roll each piece into a ball, and then roll each one of those pieces out into a rectangle, and we'll cut our noodles. Okay, we're back. Uh, my dough has rested for 10 minutes. It allows the gluten to relax a little bit. So I've got my board here and I'm gonna flour that up really well. We don't want this to stick. 
So I'm going to take this dough. It's like sand painting, you know, with your fingers. Isn't that pretty? Look at that design. Okay, I'm going to take my dough, cut it into four equal pieces. And I'm going to roll each piece up into a ball here. I love working with those. It really is fun to take something as simple as flour, water, and eggs and turn it into something that's delicious to eat. We want to, once we get started with rolling, we want to roll them out as thinly as possible. This one just didn't cooperate as well as the others. Let's see if I can encourage it. There we go. Now I'm going to flour this rolling pin. I'm going to make sure I get some extra flour down at the back here in case I need it. Now I'm going to take one piece of dough and we'll start rolling it out. Push and stretch, push and stretch. See, this is fun. You know, now it is nice and stretchy. Look. Keep rolling it. Want to get it as thin as I can. Alright, now I'm going to take this dough and I'm going to roll it up onto my rolling pin like this. Nice and easy. And then I'm going to slip it right off the rolling pin. Isn't that a neat trick? So now I have several layers of dough. And I'm going to take crusty pizza cutter here. <clears throat> now if you want wide egg noodles, you're going to cut these about a quarter inch thick. If you want narrow egg noodles, we're going to cut it about an eighth of an inch thick. And there's really no other way to do it. You just eyeball it and go for it. Pizza cutter really does a nice job. Oh, what's the purpose of these noodles again? My husband requested two things, tuna noodle casserole and chicken noodle soup. You can't do either one without noodles. down to the end of number one here. Now they're not all, you know, perfectly even because that's the beauty of homemade products. Uh, 
You know, we're not a manufacturer, we don't have equipment for that. So now we take these pieces of noodles and we just kind of like shake them out. These are going to dry for about, I'm going to cover these with a tea towel and they're going to dry for about two hours. So I'm going to finish rolling out the rest of this dough and then we'll be back. Hi and we're back. Our noodles have been cut, laid out to dry on our, our clean tea towels and they are indeed dry. Um, it will depend on how thick your noodles are and what if it's what the humidity is in the air uh, depends on how long it's going to take them to dry. Um, anywhere from two hours to, I don't know, six hours or more. Um, so these are dry. The only thing we have to do now is break them up into pieces, put them in bags. We've cut several, we, we have them in two different widths here. We have narrow cut ones and we've got some that are wider over here. Um, I did go ahead and cooked up a few of these just a minute ago. Cooked them in some salted water, put them in a bowl, covered them with a little bit of, of butter, and sprinkled on a little bit of poppy seeds. And I'm going to tell you something, these are darn tasty. Mm. They don't resemble a store-bought packaged egg noodle at all. These have wonderful body and texture and they are going to be so good in that tuna noodle casserole I'm making for Dan tonight and he thinks they're going to be even better in that homemade chicken noodle soup. So until next time, 